you know what they say, if you give a mouse a cookie, he'll want to milk too. Well, now the grinder got a new nut, it wants a new lead screw. Welcome to Creek Workshop, my name is Yuchul. In the last video, you saw me make a new lead screw nut. Today, we're gonna make a new lead screw to go with it. We'll also reinstall the hand wheels and we'll be able to check out the travel of this saddle. There's nothing complicated about the lead screw. It's just over 36 inches long, has one inch ATPI ECME thread in the middle and features eddy chains for roller bearings and hand wheels to fit. Initially, most of the wear was on the bronze nut and I was gonna reuse the lead screw and that may be one day I'll make a new one in the future. But the more I looked at it, <laughs> some serious manufacturing defects were discovered. As far as I can tell, this is the original Cincinnati lead screw and the threads have serious chatter marks that would destroy the nice new nut I just made. To make the new one, I cut the lead screw into three pieces. I purchased the material already threaded from MacMaster and we'll splice it all together. They list it as an, some sort of an alloy and has a Rockwell hardness of 35C. We'll machine a half inch hole on both ends and the threaded middle part will have the matching male feature machine to it. And as usual, we'll square up the end, spot drill. And we'll start opening up the hole. I'm shooting for about one inch depth with a little bit additional for clearance. I use this boring bar a lot but unfortunately the hole is a little too small and it's rubbing. Fortunately I have few boring bars around so we'll use this height speed steel one that I had ground up a while back. We will enter this measurement into the DRO and we can use that as a reference. I was all happy with the dimension I got but I didn't realize this telescoping gauge was collapsing. In other words it wasn't locking right and it's going to come back to bite me later. And this is a lead in chamfer for the mating part. A nice sharp high speed steel tool gives you a beautiful smooth finish. And this is the other end of the lead screw and will perform the exact same operations. Off by half a thou, but again, that's going to come back to bite me because that measurement is not accurate. The leaf screw material is soft enough to be machined with a regular car ride insert and it just machines really nice. Unfortunately, yours truly forgot to turn the microphone on so there's no sound. You know what that means.
And that should give me a two tenths clearance and should make it a nice fit, correct? Wrong. It is way too loose. Seems my gauge doesn't lock very well. So the force of the micrometer was closing this. Hmm. This is a click type. Yeah. It betrayed me. Three thou bigger than I thought. Just because of the gauge. See, if I keep on turning this micrometer, it collapses. So, I have two gauges. This one, yeah, it just moves a lot. Even after I lock it, doesn't, it's not very firm. So that's garbage. This one is not bad, but off by a couple thousand is just, which is too much. Bummer. Well, let's see if it fits the other side. Oh yeah, it's gonna go in. Be a nice fit. Phew! Dodged a bullet on that one. This is Kratex abrasive rubber stick. It's awesome for general deburring and polishing parts. I'll put a link to this on my Amazon affiliate link in the description. We'll repeat the same operation on the other end, but we'll be sure to machine the mating part to fit the hole that we already machined. You know it's a good fit because I've been using these Sudoban Japanese hand files and they're awesome. For 29 bucks you get a whole set. I'll put a link to it in the description. The end of the thread is really sharp so to prevent it from causing damage to the nut I'm filing a smooth lead in feature. To join the three pieces, we will use number two taper pins, and because I'm a poor planner, I didn't order any, so we'll have to make some. Imperial taper pins have a quarter inch per 12 inch taper, which results in an included angle of 1.19 degrees, which also translates to 0.595 degrees per side, which is what we have to set the compound at. And to get that compound at that precise angle, I'm traveling the carriage left and right one inch and looking for ten and a half thou deflection in the x axis. Mm, 10.4. I think that's perfect. Because I'm lazy, I don't like to turn the handle when turning taper. So I install this end plate on my compound. It has a quarter inch square hole that allows me to use a socket universal joint on a hand drill. The diameter of the pin at the small end is only 0.167. Unfortunately, I didn't have a smaller material, so I got a lot to remove. I need to get a lighter drill. This 20 volt DeWall is getting heavy after a while.
This test piece has the proper taper hole reamed and it fits perfect. For number two taper pin, we need to drill number 19 size drill. My inability to plan also meant I didn't order a taper reamer in time and had to rely on Amazon. It's not sharp and it feels soft, but it managed to ream two holes which is all that I needed. And the internet says if you don't show it, you didn't do it. So here I am doing the same thing on the other end. That's not going anywhere. We just need to cut it and file it flat and we're done with that. I was able to find new replacement bearings and apparently they make great water truck PTO bearings as well. There's an extra spacer here that's not showing in the manual, but I'm putting it back the way the previous owner had it. And this shield keeps the grease inside. These dials and hand wheels got polished on the bench grinder with 3M Scotch Bright wheel.
The noise you hear is from the dial. I don't have the thumb screw on there yet. There's practically zero backlash. I couldn't be any happier with the result. I'm really happy with how it turned out. There's practically no backlash. I was going to reuse the old Lee screw and put it off for a while, but the more I think about it, it just made sense to make a new one so it can mesh properly with the new nut. And I'm glad I did. Appreciate you watching. I'll see you next time.